Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a one inch brush and some yellow and white. And we can come right up here to the top and gently drop in a nice little glow up here in the sky. We don't want too much color, just a little hint up here. We can do the same exact thing with a little bit of blue and black. Just let it run right over here in the corner. And don't mix them too much with the yellow there. Now with the fan brush, we can begin dropping in some nice clouds. I'm just doing little circles with that brush. And you get all these nice little effects. And maybe it kind of comes down like this. Yeah, that'll look nice. And we'll be blending these clouds in just a second to make them nice and soft. Now with the top corner of a two inch brush, we can gently blend all these nice clouds together. Now look how I left all these pockets of light and dark in the clouds. I don't want to blend them so much that I lose all of that. Because those, that really makes the clouds look interesting. So just a nice, soft, gentle blend to remove the brush strokes is good enough. Don't go overboard because you can lose all these nice details very quickly. Now with a nice light gray on the knife, we can drop in a big mountain up here. Just scoop up a little paint and then rub in very, very firmly the shape of the mountain. There. Really work it hard into the canvas. Stain the canvas. We don't want much paint on here at all. And you could do this with a filbert brush. Both the filbert and the knife work very well. Might find it a little easier to use a brush. So whatever works for you, that's just perfect. Now with the knife, we can drop on some nice highlights. Just rub with the knife and very little paint to get all this nice texture here. With some blue and white on the knife, we can drop in some nice snow details right here. A little bit of snow that's just collecting here on the top of this mountain. There. You can blend it and work it in with the knife and then come back with just a, a hint of highlight. Next, we'll tap a one inch brush through some black and green, little touch of yellow. And now that we're done with the mountain, we can begin creating some nice foreground. So I'll just tap. Maybe this is grass very, very far away. Maybe this grass, it kind of comes all the way across that mountain there. Set that brush down and load up a fan brush with the same color. And we can do little tiny distant evergreens growing right up from that grass. We can also add in some nice detailed evergreens simply by pushing up on that fan brush. Just draw a little line and push up and create all these nice little limbs. Less and less detail as they go back. Let them fade off into the distance. Now while we're tapping in the dark color, we may as well just finish this up. I went ahead and just sketched in a little basic idea of a river back in there so that we know exactly where we're going. We'll sort of leave that area unpainted for a while. And we'll just tap our nice dark green around it. Now I was looking at this and I think right up here. I think we're not done with our mountains yet. Let's throw one more in. It'll sort of help push everything back. And I just really enjoy painting these mountains. There, this one's nice and dark. Because it's just a little bit closer than this one. Now we can begin adding in some light on the grass here. So I'm just tapping with a one inch brush. Tap lightly. 
and get all this nice texture. Don't push too hard. Before we go too far, I'll just brush on a little bit of highlight to this stream back here. There. Not too much, just a little. Now we can begin tapping in the rest of the grass. I'm just using a two inch brush and tapping. Tap lightly so that you get a lot of nice grass textures. And then a little bit on this side too. With the one inch brush, we can tap on just a few extra details. Kind of clean up the banks of the river there and any rock or tree that you might want to kind of push back a little bit. Now the last thing we want to do is add on a few highlights to these trees. We really don't need too many, just here and there to show some nice light sparkling off the limbs. There, leave a lot of that dark showing. That dark, it provides the contrast in the tree, keeps it from looking too flat. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.